Hey guys, it's Mahal here with Tech From The Perspective and today I am going to be reviewing the Steel Series Rival Gaming Mouse. Now here we have the Rival and you can see instantly that it is lit up with a blue LED in the Steel Series logo right here. Now this is due to uh, a LED, LED being there and the colour is blue instead of standard orange because you can customise the colour in the SteelSeries engine uh, software as well as if it flashes and if it changes through colours so you can have three different colours just rotating but I have just chose a still light blue and it looks pretty good now what I wanted to comment about this mouse is that it is uh, basically the mouse that's better than the Steel Series Sensei and Sensei Raw, and it is currently, I believe, Steel Series' flagship uh, mouse. And this is on competition with some of the best mouses of 2014. Although it comes in 2013, it is one of the best mouses out there in 2014. Now, let's just take a look at the mouse. So, here you can see that. The mouse is actually pretty big for a mouse. If you compare it to other mouses, mice, then you'll see that it's about that big. Standard mice. But this for a gamer's hand is pretty good. Fits my whole hand. As you can see, the LED is blocked when I'm holding it, so I can just do that. And it's pretty good. It works with both Mac and Windows and uh, for software, but I'm sure the... Uh, mouse actually works for Linux and Chrome OS and other operating systems. You can see if I was, uh, take a close up here, maybe, it depends where the light blocks it. Here is a badge with SteelSeries Rival. Uh, I'm going to quickly turn off the um, light. So, quick, go into configuration, logo, and disable elimination. Just take that. And here, if you, it's visible, zoom out a bit. It isn't, but you can now you can see actually. But it said still rival, and if you have a 3D printer, you can replace the rival with a uh, plate of your own. And this is pretty cool because you can, for example, have your own name on the mouse. And I'm just going to turn illumination back on. It's just a simple click for illumination, which is pretty cool. But the feel of the mouse, you have a nice soft finish and also a uh, sweat-free finish on the side, which is pretty cool. Uh, because if you're going on long sessions of gaming, then you will sweat and this will prevent sweat. Here are two buttons, so for normal web browsing that can go back and forward, but in the Steel Series uh, engine software you can customise what the um, mouse actually does with the buttons. Here you can see there's another mouse just sitting here and you can program this according to this uh, uh, Steel Series uh, software. There are six buttons which you can toggle and one is the CPI, not sure what buttons are which actually but uh, you'll be able to see that if you do get the mouse or have the mouse now let's just turn to the front of the mouse you can see that there is also a blue LED just flashing at the moment I set it to flash and that is pretty cool I believe and this is a pretty good mouse I'm sure that the Mouse isn't actually worth very much compared to overpriced products like Razer and although they may have the fan base, like huge fan base, everyone's thinking Razer, they're not necessarily the greatest. I reckon Steel Series have something here worthy of gamers using to game. The Steel Series uh, rival is actually worth around. Uh, 50 pounds in the UK, which is really really cheap. It is the same price as the Sensei Raw, which I do not have, but I hope to get 
uh, maybe one day. If you go onto Amazon, then the, this will compete with the Razer Death Adder, which is actually two pounds cheaper. Um, but I would just go for this. Steel series really impress. They fell to um, just this impress. Steel series for the win, basically. Here you can see the scroll is made out of rubber. The scroll is pretty nice and qu quite quiet for a scroll actually. Usually scrolls are usually really loud and that is very annoying when people like doing but it's not very loud compared to other mouses. Um you can just see that if I am gaming though I just love how the size is and the shape of it is a pear shape and it just fits into your uh hand perfectly. Here are some details on the mouse which aren't very necessary, camera won't focus but you know um, what else, what else so you have this as a mouse but you can also customize the mouse like I've mentioned multiple times and I will be back with the Steel Series engine software and I am back with the SteelSeries uh, engine where you can customize any or almost any SteelSeries uh, product but here is the rival and I am going to show you how you can customize the rival so for example you can customize the CPI of uh, your mouse so you can have two presets and it is very good for gaming if you want to alternate you can change the acceleration and deceleration, deceleration of the sensitivity, which is pretty cool. Uh, angle snapping, polling rate, don't really know them. But here you can have the left of the mouse and you can see that I have, uh, for example, the mouse and here are the buttons outlined. You can change what you want them to be. For example, I can choose B5, which is currently, um, let's zoom in, which is currently, you can't really see that button 5, but here um, I haven't actually toggled it because it is being used for web browsing, just normal web browsing, so I don't want to... Um, uh, just toggle it right now because I'm not gaming and I've done it many presets just using the default one and a bit customized but let's just zoom back out uh, here you can also choose the color like I said the logo so if I go into logo color schematics I can go here and then here's the colors for example I can have red so then the mouse turns red although it looks orange uh, I have blue already here, uh, it's a new preset if I can go for example green or I can go red, proper red, although it doesn't look red in the video, uh, purple, pink, whatever colour that's on the hex scale really and RGB scale because you can see it changes, uh, you can have it on pulsating so if it's called breathe here so now you can see it's breathing technically you can change the speed to fast so then now it's pulsating really fast and then you can go slow so it pulsates really slowly and you can see how slow it's pulsating and here you can also have color shift where it will actually shift between colors and you can see that now it's shifting between colors um, this isn't the only bit where you can do this but I am going to change it back to steady and put on my settings uh, you can actually go onto the mouse scroll and where it is here you can change the color of the mouse scroll so now you see it changed to red and I still have my blue Steel Series logo which is awesome if you ask me uh, you can change it to breathe which it already is on so steady is an option breathe and then you can also have color shift like you can with the mouse 
uh, logo, which is pretty cool. Overall, I think SteelSivers did a really good job on this mouse. It's pretty s solid, and I would love to see more from Steel Series. They just have impressed me right here. Uh, you can change the colours off the uh, shift. So now it's going to go through oranges, uh, multiple blue and uh, purple. Uh, this and then you have like different shades, gradients of colours, which looks really nice if I'm honest. And now you can see that here it's changing colours. Now it's green and then it's going to change to blue and so on and go through these colors that are outlined here unfortunately you can't change the color settings on color shift which is pretty uh disappointing but that's uh that basically although you won't have this on other mouses possibly so it is good uh, to have what you have especially for a 50 pound mouse uh this is actually a on an optical mouse rather than a laser mouse uh, because if you turn to the, uh, here there is no laser it's just optical and I find that cool to summarize with the review uh, solid mouse here the con of this mouse is that you actually need to have this software open for your settings to stick and uh, Steel series could have made the color shift um, changeable with the colors, otherwise, it would be amazing. I reckon this is pretty good for gaming. I will leave some statistics of the mouse up on the screen right now so for you to take a look at. I don't have them on at me on the moment, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, uh, comment below, and subscribe. I want to thank Steel Series for sending this mouse out. Wouldn't be possible without them. And Renary Comms for also sending this out. This has been my whole here with Tech from My Perspective on uh, reviewing the Steel Series rival uh, optical gaming mouse. And I am out. Peace.